I'm going to answer your questions. Um, I'm first going to answer the text questions in the comments. Let's get this started. The first question is from G Stockton. Who sang the song? The song is actually sung by Paper Plane. You can find her on MySpace. On a bridge by a pub asks three questions. The first question is, if I were able to gain a limb or a body part, which one would I choose? And it would actually, I would actually have to say it's a whole arm hand thing because I can't multitask enough right now. Like I can type, but I can't type and text at the same time. So to have that would be perfect. I would love it. The second question is, if I were a superhero, what would my catchphrase be? Um, your face. That's what my catchphrase would be. And the third question is, which toothpaste do I use? I've used Colgate. I've always used Colgate. I don't know why. It's just what, it's what my mom buys, so I use Colgate. The next question comes from Andrew Copeland, and he asks, If God is good, why does he let bad things happen? I don't want this to be taken as like my point of view on God, but I feel like I'm going to get hit by lightning bolt. Maybe, maybe it's the other way around. Maybe God exists because bad things happen. And people want to believe that eventually we'll be able to leave all the bad things that do happen in our life and be somewhere else. This question is from Hadakus Rex. She asked that if I were Godzilla, who would be the first person I stomp on or stamp on? If it was a fictional person, Charlie from Ugly Betty. If you don't know who she is, you should watch Ugly Betty and then you'll know. Um, I would stamp on her because I hate her. I do. But if it was a real person, I don't think I would have I don't think I would stamp on anybody because I'd be too afraid that I couldn't get them like singled out enough and that I'd end up hurting someone else and I I wouldn't want to do that. So, I don't think I would stamp on anybody unless they were like totally alone and still I couldn't even think of someone I would stamp on right now. The next question is from Albert Dupied and he asks if I am optimistic about the future. I am very optimistic about the future because, I don't know, I can't see myself failing at life, so I think it's going to be good, and not just for me, I think it's going to be good for a lot of people. I see a lot of great things in, um, I would say, I see a lot of great things in my peers, the people around me that are near my age, and so I think us growing up all together, um, I think we're going to change some things. And I think it's going to be great. And so that's one of the reasons I'm optimistic about the future. Is I think there's going to be a lot of change. And I, it's going to be good for the best. Okay, the next question is from Ben Ruba. And he asks, what would I name my band and the first album? Seriously, if I had like an all-girl band, I'd name us The Librarians. And our first album would be called Books Have Corners. The Books Have Corners part is actually a funny story. Um, me and my friends were all standing outside like during break in high school and like my friend Carisha was really close to me and her like history book was stabbing my arm in the stab like her the corner of her history book was stabbing me in the arm and like she kind of leaned in closer and it hurt a lot so I just started yelling books have corners books have corners and apparently I did a little dance which I do not remember because I was in so much pain the librarians just because I don't think I think Librarians need to have an image makeover, so I think that title would really help for all the cool librarians out there. The next question is from Seventeen, and she asks, "Which was when was the last time I was really happy?" Really happy. I think the reason this is hard for me is because if I say that it was something really far back, people are going to be like, you haven't been happy since then. And people are going to think I'm like a little like taco emo kid or something. I can honestly say I was really, really happy when I was accepted into the seminar program um, for this summer. And since then, like, it's like I've, I've been happy, but there hasn't been another like high peak since then, which was like maybe like a couple weeks ago I got accepted. The next question is by the Delphiki. I'm not even sure if I said that right. You can shoot me if I didn't. You know who you are. If I can bring back one extinct animal species at the cost of putting another into extinction, which animal would it be? When I first read this, I said, why would I do this? Because I honest, if I could, I wouldn't because I'm so afraid that if I bring back another species, it's going to like 
click off this chain of events and like just pushing one into extinction and bringing one back it's gonna be like so like off for all I know all living things after that point would be going extinct you know it's very risky so I don't think I would do it but if I had to I would bring that um, the Tasmanian wolf probably want to um, mosquitoes I would want to make those extinct especially the ones that carry West Nile and malaria yeah I'd want to make those extinct for sure the question is from um, Nizoni I think I said that right she asks what was my favorite teacher in, at any level and why Definitely this teacher I had in high school, her name was Miss Meyer. She was really crazy and her, her classroom was always filled with books. Like seriously, wall to wall, books everywhere. Um, and it's probably not a coincidence that my first year in high school, in which I had her, is the year I actually became addicted to books and reading. So, and I think basically books have made me who I am. So I think indirectly she has made me who I am. So yeah, so without her, I wouldn't be as weird and quirky as I am, and you guys wouldn't have me to laugh at, so yeah. Yeah, you know what? Forget the rest of them. Yay her. Cheers. Thank you, Ms. Meyer. The last set of questions come from Jabazi, and she actually put them all in one, and it was against the rules, so I'll be going to Canada to break your kneecaps very soon. I'm just kidding. I won't. First question is, where do I buy my clothes? The shirt I'm wearing right now I bought from a band. But, um, I usually shop at Target, or sometimes I go to Torrid if I have a lot of money to spend. My favorite tubers, I actually can say that I don't watch very many big YouTubers anymore. I'd rather watch the people I talk to most, which is you guys. I mean, I like watching what you guys do, but actually, there's another YouTube channel that just opened, um, We Miss Reading Rainbow. I'm going to be a huge fan of that. You guys should totally go subscribe. You really should um, if you like books. I should have made a list because right now I'm like feeling stumped and I'm sure I'm missing a whole lot of people. I'm sorry. The next question is if I had to be blind or deaf, which one would I choose? I know for certain if I were to go blind, there's probably a big possibility that I would kill myself. So I would rather be deaf than blind. Favorite piece of item to wear? Um, my glasses, because if I don't wear them, I can't see. Maybe you would just say Mexican food. I really, really, really like Mexican food. I really like spicy food. Anything that's spicy or hot or like, nah, in your mouth, I'll love it. I, I promise you. My favorite age to be? I have to say 20. I'm feeling pretty good being 20. I actually don't think I want to turn 21 very soon, even though it's going to happen. I think there's, ugh. like after you turn 21, it's like there's no turning back, I feel. But right now, I'm like an in-between. Like I'm not like to the point where I'm in the 20s where I have to be grown up. But at the same time, I'm not in my teens either. So I think being, right now, this age is pretty good. I like it. 